welcome back. Today, we want to share about the importance of kindness. For many centuries, people have recognized the power of kindness, and we hear and read stories of kindness. But more importantly, what does the Bible say about kindness? Matthew 7, 12 says, so in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. We recognize this as the golden rule uttered by Jesus himself. You look closely and you notice that the core idea of the golden rule is kindness. In fact, as you delve into the Bible even more, you will see that the Bible recognizes the importance of practicing kindness. Paul says in Ephesians 4.32, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Jesus went a step further. In Luke 6.27 and 28, he said, but I tell you who hear me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. It isn't hard to be kind to those who like you or those whom you like, but to love our enemies, to be kind to those who hate or mistreat you? Now, who can do that? I can't think of a better example than Jesus himself. He loved his enemies to the end. As he lay hanging on the cross in deep agony, sneers and insults were hurled at him. And yet he quietly cried out, in Luke 23, 34, we read this. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. True kindness breaks down hostility. True kindness removes roots of bitterness. It always allows good to win over evil. Kindness is a mark, a characteristic of a believer's life. Galatians 5.22 says that kindness is a fruit of the Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit who produces kindness in those who belong to Jesus. That is to say, the Spirit himself enables the believer to be kind even in the most difficult circumstances. May I leave with you a thought to think about as we observe another Independence Day in this great nation. A thought comes. We are still not free from illiteracy or oppression or even discrimination based on caste, religion or gender. The question that comes is, can kindness make a difference? The answer is yes, we can. Kindness is a language anyone can understand anywhere. So spread kindness to the needy, the poor, the discriminated around you. An act of kindness will go a long way in making a big difference in their lives. Paul says, in Galatians 6, 9, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. May God bless you.